एवरीवन वेलकम टू टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सीबीएसई साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस आई एम मिसेस जयश्री गणेश यू आर साइंस टीचर वेल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन ऑफ द बायोलॉजी लेसन सो एट फर्स्ट वी विल हैव वन ग्लांस ओवर द टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सीबीएसई साइंस सिलेबस सो देयर आर टोटली 16 लेसंस इन दैट फाइव केमिस्ट्री फाइव फिजिक्स एंड सिक्स बायोलॉजी लेसंस Out of the six biology lessons today, we are going to start one of the most important and interesting lesson that is life processes. Well, dear students, let us start life processes. At first, we will study about the life. Next, we will go to the processes. What is the mean of life? Life means alive. So in Kannada, we can say "jivan chavagi rojanta hai thevi." So next, in Hindi, "jinda." So those are called as the alive things. So in this earth, we can see many living and non-living organisms. Is it right? Then how to recognize something is living or non-living? So this already you have learned in your previous classes. Also you have learned the difference between the living and non-living organisms. So by combining all those points, I have made some of the basic properties of the living organism. So that we can recognize something is living. So why we are studying this? We are studying the lesson life processes, and this lesson is completely related to living organism. Is it right? So those properties are as follows. First one is the movement, respiration, growth, sensitivity, nutrition, reproduction, and excretion. So now we will see one by one in detail. At first we will see about the movement. Already you know that all the living organism shows movement. You take varieties of living organism; they shows in the different kinds of a movement. You take all the animals; they may run, they may walk, they may jump. Like a frog, you take it will jump. Monkeys, you take they will jump. Is it right? Like you take human beings; they shows the varieties of movement. You take fish; they will also show they will also show the varieties of a movement. Like they will swims in the water. Is it right? So now you take all the birds; they flies. Is it right? Microorganism shows the movement. And you take uh, plants now. Plant will also shows the movement. You can arise question how they shows the movement. So you take roots and shoots of the plant. So root will move towards the soil, and shoots will move towards the sunlight. Is it right? So this is also movement we can say. And also you take a touch me not plant. So the folding of the leaves also we can say. So those all movements we can say. Only living organism shows the movement themselves. So why themselves? I am telling. They shows the movement without anybody's help. Is it right? Without any external force will be applied here. Any external force will be not applied here. So without the external force, they will shows the movement. But in the case of living or non-living organism, they will not show any movement themselves. Understanding? So this is one of the property that is a movement. By the movement, we can understand something is alive. So next we'll go to the respiration. All living organism shows the uh, all living organism respire. You take up uh, all the animals, birds, microorganisms, insects, even human being, even the plants, all will respire. So it's a very important process we can say. Why you know? So by the respiration we will get the energy. So by the energy we can perform the work. So how will the respiration will get the energy that we will study in our further classes so energy is very important that energy will be released with the respiration so all the living organism will respire understanding so it is secondary that what they will take inside and what they will leave out just they will respire understanding so next we'll go to the uh, growth it is a observable property we can see understanding uh, it is a observable uh, observable property we can see because so we can see the a uh, change in their size and shape so take your example only so you were very small when you took birth now you are grown enough so you can see changes in you so you can say the you are growing is it right you take plants first they will be very small after some years they will grow as a big trees so you can observe the uh, observe the difference from the small to the big one so all the living organism shows the growth understanding in the, in the non living organism it will not takes place you take a pen otherwise a chair otherwise a table any non living organism they remains in the same shape or size for longer time 
so it means what they will not show any growth understanding so by the growth we can understand about the living or uh, we can understand which is the alive thing understanding so next we'll go to the nutrition now uh, first we we'll see the sensitivity it's one of the great property of the living organism we can see because all the living organisms are very sensitive towards the some of the stimuluses like uh, heat otherwise hot uh next light we can say sight we can say sound by the touch they will show the responses so these all stimuluses we can say so you take one example if you touch any one hot container you will keep your hand there only for the uh, longer time no immediately will remove hand from that place so that stimulus was hot there and removing hand from that place was the your response then you are responding for the action here next you can take a any other example with the sight you can see uh, if you will see any tiger or snake in this room means you will stay in that room only for a longer for the, you in that room only no you will run away from that place so here stimulus was the snake or tiger and you are running away from that place was the your reaction so this is a, a, about what a sensitivity uh, you take in plants plant will also shows the sensitivity so you take a test me not plant so you just touch the leaves of the plant so they suddenly they will fold the leaves is it it is a what a sensitivity we can say and also you take one of the another example that uh, you take one plant in the dark uh, you take one plant and keep it in the dark room and make a hole in the wall and allow to pass the sunlight through that so after some days you can observe that the shoots of the plant will move towards the sunlight is it right so what it is showing here sunlight or the stimulus and the moving the shoots of the plant was the reaction so all the living organism shows this sensitivity property understanding so next we will go to the nutrition all the living organism should be alive on this earth means they need a nutrition so the nutrition is a combination of the nutrients and all living organism needs a nutrition in the particular amount so what are the nutrients those are the combination of the uh, carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals so all living organisms need in particular amount of nutrients understanding so you take in the plant take a plants living um, microorganisms birds animals make uh, all uh, all need nutrition the mode of nutrition will be different but they need nutrition so next we'll go to the reproduction it is another great property of a living organism you can say because they will give their they will give birth to their young ones otherwise offspring is it right the mode of reproduction will be different but all living organism have the capacity to give birth to their young ones even the plant also and all the animals also they give birth to their young ones so next we'll go to the excretion excretion is the process what removing the waste material from their body so you take all animals insects microorganisms birds all and all the plants also what they does they remove the waste material from their body so it is called as a excretion so these all process otherwise these all will takes place only in the living organism so these are the main properties of the living organism through that we can differentiate something is alive or it is a non living understanding so next So we will go to the processes. What is the meaning of processes? Processes means functions. Understanding processes means what? Function. So life process means what? Life process means what? The basic functions performed by a living organism to maintain their life on this earth called as a life processes. So in common words, what we can say? Life processes are the some of the basic function. They should be performed in the living organism. to be alive on this earth they want to alive on this earth mean they should perform some of the process like processes understanding so in this world you can see varieties of a living organism so commonly some of the life processes we can observe in them so which are those those are nutrition those are respiration and transportation and excretion these are the more main life processes we can observe in the living organism now the nutrition nutrition means what is already have said it's a uh, mixture of the 
nutrients. Otherwise, we can commonly we can say it as a food. So, what is the nutrition? It's one of the process. So, by that, what we will do? We will take the food inside and it will be utilized by our body. So, what are written here? See, so nutrition is the process by which taking food by an organism and its utilization by the body. So, in nutrition process, what we does? We will take inside food and then what we will do? We will utilize by our body. So, it is called as a nutrition. Next, we will go to the respiration. So, already we had the nutrition means we had a food. By that, energy will be released. Okay. So, that will be done by the respiration process. So, how it will be taken place? So, respiration is the process by which food is burned in the cells of the body with the help of the oxygen to release energy. What happens here? Whatever food we will be in, uh, taken in, so it will be burned in the presence of the oxygen and energy will be released. Understanding? It is called as the respiration. And already you studied here. So, respiration will take place in all the living organism. And what, uh, what is the use of the respiration? We are going to study here. So, next we will go to the transportation. So, what is the transportation? We will have the food, water, air. So, whatever we will have, it should be transported to each and every parts of our body. It will be done by the transportation, transportation process. Now, what is the transportation process? It is the process by which food, oxygen, water, waste products are carried from one place to another place. Then one, one part to another part of our body. Understanding what is the transportation? It is the process by which food, water, air, or oxygen and waste products are carried from one part of our body to the another part of our body. This is about what the transportation. Next is the excretion. What is the excretion? The excretion is a process by which all waste products will be removed from our body. This is our excretion. So, these are the four main processes. It will be done in the living organisms. Understanding? So, we are going to study each and every lab process in, in detail in our further classes. So, I hope you all understood today the introductory part of uh, life processes. Understanding? So, any your difficulty, let me know. Okay, now in next our classes, we will study nutrition topic in detail. Thank you.